What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a very cool team. We're going to be using Yvelta and Zacian alongside with two very cool Pokemon that are a little bit off meta. We got Latias and Snorlax. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Seriously, yo, get on top of that. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time. Just scroll down a little bit, click that big box that's red and says subscribe, and bang, you are supporting me as a content creator. So really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to go over two giveaways, not one, but two. One is for me. You guys already know I'm giving away a $20 eShop gift card. Link down in the description below. About two days left in that. It takes like five seconds to join. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead down the link in the description below to figure out how to join that Uh. That giveaway like who doesn't love free $20 eShop gift cards it's legit free $20 off your next video game that's amazing that's amazing only takes five seconds of you guys time to join so join it but another giveaway short circuit gaming is doing is they're giving away two free tickets to the world championship for rocket league pretty cool pretty cool two free tickets link down in the description below i'll have all the details down there definitely go check it out definitely get after it. if you guys are big rocket league fans you do not want to miss out on that go check it out go try to win some two free rocket league tickets to the world championships but now with that out the way let's get started with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only latias over here with levitate alongside with focus dash we got icy wind for speed control ally switch to protect ally pokemon helping hand to make ally pokemon do more damage and tailwind to you know set up tailwind so latias is kind of just here just to grant speed control and allow our other pokemon to outspeed Zacian's going to be our second Pokemon. I'm not even going to say anything about it. It's a normal setup for Zacian. Normal moves, normal item, normal ability. Let's move on. Bottom left hand, or not bottom left hand, middle left corner, not corner, middle left is going to be Yabelta. Dark Aurora <laughs> locks out with the Soul Fest as item and ability. Rocking my favorite move set of Snarl, Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Foul Play to do big damage on physical attackers and big damage on Solgaleos. Right next to him is going to be Regilecki with that Life Orb and Transistor. So we're probably going to be Dynamaxing this Pokemon a good bit in today's video because you know good old Dynamax Regilecki hits like an absolute truck. We got Thunderbolt, E-Web for Speed Control, Hyper Beam for our coverage, and it turns into Max Strike when we uh, Dynamax him, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Intimidate Landers with that White Herb as its item. EQ, Rock Slide, Fly, Protect, fairly normal moveset for any Landers. Final Pokemon on the squad is the OG Gen 1 favorite, Snorlax. Over here, we got Thick Fat, alongside with the Safety Goggles, and then we got Steel Roar. You want to put Pokemon to sleep, Darkest Larry, and then Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder, look to get some wins with this Latias, Zacian, Yvelta, and Snorlax Series 12 team. Look at this team that we're going up against in battle number one. Necrozma, Regilecki, Klefki, who I love, Tapu Bulu, Kai Ogre, and then how do you pronounce this Pokemon? Skullipede? Oh my god, this team is looking amazing. I'm hoping I lose to this team. I'm hoping I lose this team, but we're hopping into our first battle. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. I feel like just going into like a Yvelta here could be solid, maybe with Latias, but I feel like speed's already on our side. I feel like we're chilling with speed. I can just go here and here and E-Web if we have to. We don't even need Latias and then Zacian alongside with uh, Snorlax. Snorlax is looking pretty cool. Snorlax, or I, I think this would be a better Pokemon for us, Lando. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Just stack the offensive side and just get started off strong. I do love it, yo. Look at this dude's team. This dude is ripping with the team. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But before we hop into our first battle, you guys know the deal. Sprinkle a little something down in the comment section down below for question of the day. What Nintendo characters are your favorite? I feel like Nintendo characters are such a broad category because I consider like all, all like characters that are used on Nintendo platform. To be a Nintendo character. Like, obviously, Pokemon is not Nintendo, but they play on Nintendo platform. But, uh, you know, you know the deal with that. So, I, I, I would consider all Pokemon Nintendo characters. But for me, to answer my question of the day, I'm a big fan of Yoshi. I've always been a boy. Yoshi's always has been my boy. I've been riding him in every single game I use. Mario Kart, Smash Bros, Strikers, Sluggers, you name it. He's just my boy. Let me know your guys' answers in the comments down below. But he's going to end up leading Kyogre and Reggie. And at this point, I could just Dynamax your belt up. But I think I'm just going to sit here and snarl out. Right, Snarl is looking pretty good. We do have a Soul Vest, which is nice. You could Dynamax uh, Reggie up his own. Oh. Oh, I do. Do I, do I drop the E-Web or the Thunderbolt? Or I, can, I could Dynamax Reggie. I could definitely Dynamax Reggie. But I'm just going to Snarl. I'm just going to E-Web. I'm just going to drop a lovely little E-Web. He could switch to Kyogre. He could definitely swap to Kyogre. Let's see what he does here. My E-Web is going to come out here first. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And wow, that did some damage. On Snarl should be able to take that out. We get a crit, that's why. That's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous start for us. That's a lovely little start for us. 
a great start for us. So speed's gonna be on our side. Actually, his red lucky might be faster than my Yvelta. We'll see. Yeah, see? Yvelta's gonna come out here. And I feel like Yvelta is still faster than uh than Kyogre, which is gonna be good. So Snarl's gonna be able to come out here and do some work. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. Should be able that Snarl should be able to take out Kyogre. And if not, he's gonna be uh Oh no, he outspeeds me. Wow. Water spout's coming out here. He's on one HP. He's soaking that up. Did a lot more damage to my Reggie than I thought it would, but still. That's a solid turn. So Snarl comes out here. It does take out Kyogre. And oh my god, the damage that it's doing onto this Reggie. Oh my god, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. This is solid. We're, we're, we're rolling here. I can sucker punch into that at Reggie. And I can drop like a Thunderbolt or something into this next Pokemon. Let's see who it is. It's gonna be Klefki. Klefki, how are you? How you doing, buddy? Definitely sucker punch into you. And then we're definitely just gonna drop it. I could drop a Hyper Beam just to use it. Just to use it. Hyper Beam could be cool, but Thunderbolt's gonna do. Thunderbolt's gonna do some work here. Plus, it has chance to paralyze him. Plus, it has chance to paralyze him. So, I'm just gonna suck a bunch. We're gonna drop Reggie Lucky, no problem. He sets up an easy light screen with that Prankster. That's a cool little Clefki. That's why I love Clefki. He's a nice little Prankster screen Pokemon. But Grimstrong just out does him all the time. Sucker Punch comes through here. Reggie Lucky, get on out of here. Founder ones. Gonna be light work for us. Light work all day. Thunderbolt's coming in hot. How much damage are we doing? About half. Light screen definitely soaking up a bunch. And Light Force gonna take some over damage. So. I love where we're sitting. Another Thunderbolt takes him out, and I can just tee off with my, uh, with my Yvelta here. He's going to go Necrozma here as well. And you guys know. He's going to have to Dynamax here. My boy's going to have to drop a mean foul play. My boy's going to have to drop a mean foul play into this thing. Mean foul play coming in hot. Thunderbolt's going to fly on the Regilecki slot. And that's going to be pretty much GG. It's a quick battle. We going to sweep right here? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Or opponent just cancels. We are steamrolling. We are steamrolling. It's a little start for us. E Web doing work. E Web doing work. Let's see what he does. We are minus one. Actually, uh, Necrozma might be faster than us. He Dynamaxes. Necrozma might be faster than us. Or at least my Yvelta, right? At least my Yvelta. But Regilecki should be faster on the field. Thunderbolt should be able to fly through here and get ripping. Look at that, dude. I think it's gorgeous, shiny. It's like a nice little like rose pink. Kind of looks like a cherry blossom tree. Thunder Wave coming in hot. You know, we're dark type. Come on. What you doing, dog? Thunderbolt coming in here. Later, Reggie. We're well, not Reggie. Later, Klefki. Even though I love you, dude. Jingle Keys. Jingle Keys dead. <laughs> Jingle Keys goes out here. Life Orb takes us out. And I feel like... I think Necrozma's gonna go first, right? I feel like Necrozma. Yeah, Necrozma goes first. He's gonna steal Spike and probably not be able to eat that up, right? Dead. No, we eat. That is lovely. That is lovely, yo. When your belt is about to hit this thing hard. He's about to hit this thing hard. Foul play coming in high. Oh, uh, Oh, dude, I thought it was going to do a lot more damage than that. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Weakness policy is proc. Uh, we could go into our Dynamax Pokemon if we want, but that's a, that guy's a little scary right there. I end up would be our Dynamax Pokemon. Use? I'm going to Zacian. I feel like we just saved Zacian. Let's Dynamax this thing and go into... Uh, what do we do? I guess we'll just foul play. Dude, he's weakness policy proc, which is no big. Intimidates can come out here, which is huge. Which is huge. So at this point, we're just going to foul play again. It's going to do more damage this time around because it's, uh, because it is weakness policy proc. So we're going to Dynamax Orlando. We're going to start finishing up this battle, but I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this is a actually putting up a fight here. The Christmas kind of scary because he can one tap some Pokemon. And he is defensive boost. It's all good. It's all good. Landis can come out here. We get this lovely little Dynamax rolling here. Let's get slamming. Let's get slamming jamming, baby. Landis should go first, right? Yeah, Lando goes first, which is gorgeous. I could have airstream just get speed control. But it's all good. Max Quake's gonna fly out here. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Dude, this thing's bulking out. This thing is bulking out. This thing is bulking here. He is bulking up some shots. He's gonna go for a seal spike. Go into uh, Lando. Kind of hoping. Nope, he just takes out my Yvelta. That's totally fine. We're gonna have to bring out our uh, Zacian. At this point, I think we just double guard, right? Good double guard. Good definitely double guard. Well, I could go for a defense boost. So I'm going to go to Zacian. He has one more turn left. I think I'm just going to protect my Zacian and roll into a Steel Spike just to get that defense boost for the squad. Could really help us out. Could really, really help us out. So, yeah. Let's just protect you. We're not dealing with none of the nonsense. And, oh, no. We don't have Steel Spike. I don't think we have the Steel Spike. Um, and I guess we'll just Quake chip up more damage. We go for Rock Ball. Hmm. Now nah, we're going to go for Quake. He shouldn't go for Quake. I, 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 would, I would think he was go after Zacian, right? I would think he would go after Zacian. But yeah, like I said, it's no Christmas. Still, it's, he's kind of just posing a threat here. 
Wake's gonna fire. We're just chipping up some more damage. His Dynamax turn's gonna be over, and we're hoping he's going after Nasty. That could be big for us. Yeah, we're slowly chipping up. Slowly getting some work done. And we're going from there. The special defense is gonna get boosted. It's beautiful. And Sacred Sword will do a good amount of damage. He's gonna steal spike. But you're going after Zacian. Beautiful. So he goes after Zacian. Zacian's gonna be able to soak through protect. And Sacred Sword's gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage due to the fact that it ignores all these defense boosts. See, right? I believe it ignores all the defense boosts. I believe it does. I believe Sacred Sword, that's how it works. So yeah, Sacred Sword's gonna be our friend. And we should be able to roll out this battle from here, right? Sacred Sword, let me let me read you. Yes, target stat changes don't affect the attack damage. So Sacred Sword's gonna fly. That is the best move we can use. And Max Quake's gonna do, I guess, a little bit. Because you know, Max Quake is, uh, it's physical. It is physical. It is physical, and he's plus three on special events. So we chip him down to red. Can this KO? I don't even think this is gonna KO. It does. Okay, that's beautiful. That's lovely. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see that. There it is, yo. Battle number one in the bag. We grab ourselves a win. We get started off strong. We get opt for a second. Look to go back to back. Battle number two coming at you guys. Looking to go back to back. Going up against an Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Groudon team with uh, Thunderous, P2, Glass Duck, I like to call him. And then he's got the uh, the Venusaur for the Drought, and then Rillaboom as his final Pokemon. But how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like your belt is a solid lead here. Your belt can just do a decent amount of work. Especially up against like a, the Calyrex if it comes in here. But Trick Room would definitely be a problem for us. I could lead you. I could lead Snorlax. Maybe just start putting Pokemon to sleep. I kind of dig that a lot. I kind of dig that a lot with all these yawns going around here. Yawn, Steel Roller. We do have Steel Roller. And it destroys terrain. This could be good if he wants to lead the Rillaboom. So you know what? I'm going to go with Snorlax. We're going to look to have some fun in this one. I'm going to go Snorlax. I might lead us Zacian as well. I might lead Zacian as well. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'm going to lead Zacian here as well. And then we're going to roll into Yvelta, obviously, in the back end. And then last but not least, Regilecki. Or I'd, I think I'd rather go Lando here. I think I'd rather go Lando in this situation. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But it, I think it's going to be a little tough for us. Trick Room is always a tough time. It is always a tough time. Unless you have a team that can just like perfectly counter up a Trick Room team. Or you have a Trick Room team of your own. Trick Room is always a problem. Because once they get up Trick Room, especially with the Pokemon, it's kind of easy to get off Trick Room. But once they do get it off, it's they, they, they just have that, that, that favor. It's very, very slow Pokemon are very, very strong. So Trick Room always works in their favor. Are we going to end up leading these two? Uh, I'm kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with that. Um, what do I do? What do I do? I think I yawned. I could yawn the Venusaur. Sacred Sword into the... I could Sacred Sword into the... What's it called? The P2. Or I could Dark Slayer. I, I, I'm just going to yawn into you. If I would have let something else, it could have been a little bit better. But yeah, I'm just going to Sacred Sword into this Pokemon. I don't really see him Dynamax into Venusaur. Unless he wants a hard swap, that's a, that's a, that would be a problem if he wants a hard swap. But still, if he wants a Dynamax and Venus, we're going to yawn it. And we're going to get rolling from there. But we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. Glass Duck is always a problem for me, though. This Glass Duck is just annoying, dude. He's going to end up withdrawing. You son of a biscuit. So he withdraws, and he's going to go straight into this thing. So he's going to Dynamax and Venus. Sword. Good thing we are yawning up onto him, which is really, really good for us. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can get off one turn with Zacian. If that's the case, it could be huge. He's going to sleep out of me. Never mind. No Dynamax. No Dynamax. So. It's a little rough. A little no bueno. Yawns can come in hot. And uh, we're going to roll from there. We're yawning. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to yawn again. <laughs> we're going to yawn again. And I'm going to go for a protect. Or I could hard swap into, like, Lando. Because Lando's not bad here. Just for Intimidate. I do kind of dig that. Intimidate any micro for like a blaze or something. I do dig that. I do dig that a lot. I'm going to you. But I feel like we should go into Lando. Yeah, I'm going to go into Lando here. I'm going to go into Lando. I'm going to hard swap here. He withdraws as well, so that's beautiful. I guess some blades going to come out. So he's going to go into P2 at this point. P2 is out and about. I don't know if he, he wants to rip a trick room. I do not know if he wants to do that or not. I do not know if he wants to do that or not, but I know he wants to rock a blade here. I know he wants to rock a blade. So we're going to hard swap. We're going to get after his battle. It's going to be a solid battle. Intimidation can come out here. Minus one on the ground unless he's white herb. A lot of grounds are nowadays. And it is not. He's got. Hey! Yo! Hey! Stop it. Good thing we're yawning on that thing. He's swords dancing. He's dancing with swords, dude. He's dancing with swords. Get him out of here. 
Get him out of here. We did not like that one bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to yawn again. I'm playing games. <laughs> I'm going to Dynamax here. Uh, do I rock fall? Good quick. Special defense boost would be lovely. Or I can airstream. Like a bit, a bit of speed here. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what this ground is going to do. I think Swords Day. Good thing we yawn them. Yeah, dude. I just got to yawn on a bunch of people. That's a, that's a Snorlax way right here. Yawn, 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 yawn. Gotta finish my drink. We got one more sip left in water. There is a drought out and about, as you guys can tell. So, water is good for me. <laughs> water is good for me right now. But this guy's thinking long and hard. He withdraws the ground on after that Swords Dance. We love it. Who you gonna go into here? He you going into? Back into Beans. Beans coming in hot. We're gonna, we're gonna Airstream, too. We get a little bit of speed going on on our side. We love it. We're going to yawn on a P2. Maybe he pops a trick him. I don't think he pops a trick him. I do wonder what he's going to do. An Ice Beam could be scary. Dude. Four times super effective Ice Beam onto us. would be no bueno. would be no bueno for us. Let's see how this one plays out here. Airstream coming in hot. Chipping up some damage. P2 does soak though. P2 is a soaky guy. We need a little bit of speed. We are going to drop a nice level yawn. Maybe force him to swap P2. Ice Beam's scaring me if he's going after it. Yawn. <laughs> this guy's like, come on with the yawns. This guy's not having it. He pops Trick Room. Uh, that's a little better for us. A little better for us. I'm just going to yawn. <laughs> I'm just going to yawn. And you know what? I don't mind Airstream in here. I really do not. Is, it, is he going to stay in with Venusaur? Could go into a quake. I feel like doing. I don't know. I'm gonna airstream actually. Send it. Send it. Swap the duck, dude. Swap the duck. I was gonna quake into the duck. Dude, we got this guy in shambles right now. <laughs> He's sitting here like, dude, can this guy stop you on it? Nah, yo, I'm playing toxic today. I'm sick of losing. I'm sick of losing, yo. Yeah, withdraw that duck. Cause he yawned on. Go back in the ground on. Wasn't a cat? Oh no! That's a problem. Big time problem. Big time problem. We're yawning on this thing though. I'm gonna say, hey yo, go 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 to sleep. Actually, we're just taking it out. I should have yawned onto the other slot, predicting the swap. But airstreams can come in here. Uh, we are in trouble here though. Oh, of course, this thing's sashed. What you mean? What do you mean this thing is sashed? Oh come on, dude. Come on. Sash. Solar beam coming in hot. Gonna absorb light. You go after somebody other than my Snorlax because what's called dies next turn. Lando dies next turn. Yeah. So he goes after you. That's fine. Uh, from here, we're gonna have to do a little bit of yawn action. <laughs> and I could guard. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna guard here. Guard, guard, guard. Dude, this guy's annoying. This guy, this guy's annoying me. Coming from me, and I'm using yawns every turn. <laughs> this guy, this guy, I mean, he's not, he's not annoying me. He's just bothering me because, like, Trick Room, I hate Trick Room, dude. I hate it, but, yo, he's probably, this dude's probably so just ticked off at this point. <laughs> can, he's probably sitting here like, yo, can this guy use, like, any other move but yawn? But yawns thriving for us. We're forcing swaps, yo. We're forcing swaps. We're going to guard here. He's not Dynamax, which is solid. And we're going to say, hey, yo. Here's, here's, here's a yawn for you, dude. Here's a yawn for you. Glacial Lance can come in hot. Didn't we yawn onto the, what's it called? Onto the Venusaur? Just for sleep powder, cool. We have safety goggles. Didn't we yawn onto the Venusaur? I'm a little confused here. There it is. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, dude, we definitely yawn on him. Now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting here. I, I kind of like this. And at this point, you know what? We're just going to Dark Slayer over onto you. I'll finish that Venusaur later. And do we look for double protect? We might as well, because if not, he's going to drop a Glacial Lance onto me, right? Might as well look for his double protect. But I should have went for Mook, because he's going to swap him. He's going to swap him. <laughs> yawn, 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 baby. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Yeah, I knew he's going to. Oh, he swaps Venusaur. That's fine. Gonna bring out P2. 
E2. Lando's so protect, dude. Lando's so protect. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lando. Nope, doesn't land it. I wanted it. Dark Slayer is going to poke out here. Get some damage off on this thing. Nope, and he stays in with Calyrex, which is huge for us because he goes to sleep. That's huge. Glacial Lands comes through. Down goes my uh, Lando, but Snorlax should be able to soak up. Snorlax. Love you, Snorlax. <laughs> He's just doing work, dude. Snorlax is just doing work. He's just doing work. He came to play today. Okay, uh, from here, I would say we go in the Zassian, but we can't. I mean, we can. This will be time to wake up Zassian. This will be time to wake up Zassian because he still has like one more turn left in Trick Room. So I might as well go into Zassian and look to get off some damage here and wake him up. That's my plan. It is my plan. It is my plan. Good Dynamax the duck. So we're just going to yawn it. <laughs> he could Dynamax the duck. So I would like to yawn the duck. We'll do more damage. We're, 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 playing, we're playing hard here. We need to play today. Um, how many turns left in Trick Room? I got I to gotta make sure of this one. It's a solid battle. One more turn left in Trick Room. I am going to... What do I do? I'm going to Behemoth Blade just in case he wants to Dynamax this thing. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see what he does. Is he going to Dynamax soon? I don't know. That's kind of scaring me a little bit. Kalex is slumped. Kalex is definitely... He's not waking up this turn. Which is gorgeous. I'm out of, out of drinks. Looking to get a drink here. And Yawn's going to come out here. Yeah, Snorlax, yo. Yeah, Snorlax. This dude's getting drowsy. He's going to recover. That's fine. We're wasting our Trick Room. And he's wasting out my sleep turns. Which is enormous. I'm slumped. Or no, he's slumped. Wake up, Zass. Let's go, Zass. Love it. Love it, Zass. Love it, Zass. So we on the P2. He about to go to sleep next turn. Big old damn. Oh, that's huge. Four and a half. It's gorgeous. Now Trick Room's gone. Easy darkest layer here. Into a behemoth blade. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So we're slow playing. And we're doing this one well, yo. <laughs> the yawn turns ridiculous. We still have your belt in the back end, so I don't have to worry about Venusaur. Venusaur is really a, a Pokemon I don't have to worry about because I can just sucker punch it. And now he's going to be forced to go in the Groudon. And I think I can just yawn him. Right? Right? Venusaur's already asleep. Venusaur is already asleep. Snorlax should go next. He's plus two on speed. Oh, this thing wakes up. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Oh, leave me alone. Cool. This rock soaks, dude. This thing's an absolute bull. He's gonna be able to take out uh He's gonna be able to take out you no problem. That's lovely. Dog. Oh no, he doesn't take him out. Okay. Um, yeah, but we're gonna have to yawn. We're gonna have to yawn onto this ground. Or maybe he goes into Venusaur. If he goes into Venusaur, that could be a little bit better. But yo, my boy soaks, dude. My boy soaks. This battle's still looking a little weird. Because he still has Dynamax with Groudon. And here comes Groudon. So Groudon's coming out and about. Um what do I do? I think I just yawn. I think I have to yawn into him and take out the Calyrex, right? Probably my best bet. Yawn into him and take out Cali. Cali, Cali, Rex. Gotta go. Gotta go. Because if I could put this thing to sleep, we could uh, could have a little fighting chance here. Yo, dude, the yawns are doing us good. The yawns are the only reason we're in this battle. <laughs> this battle's so funny, man. <laughs> yawn, 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 yawn. Get it, Snorlax. Get after it. We're forcing him to swap a lot. Yeah, if I can get off the Sean, I do not mind if Sassy goes down. Because he's obviously going to Dynamax, right? 1,000% going to Dynamax. Still has it. And like I said, I'm not worried about Venus where he's asleep. And I have Sucker Punch ready to roll. Let's see how this one plays. What if that Darkest Larry did take out that, that Calyrex? It could have been huge for us. Could have been huge. Then I could have been played into this uh, Groudon with the Dynamax. But I have to get after his Calyrex at this point. So, he's going to Dynamax. Dynamax, yeah, 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 yeah. And ground's looking a little scary. Looking a little scary. Quakes are looking a little scary too. Do not protect Calyrex. Mm, this fist, man. This fist. I want to put it through the screen. This little block from him. Can we get off the Sean though? Quakes gonna fly through. Take out Zacian, maybe. Who are you going after? Zacian. Zacian drops out here. We could snarl and take out the Calyrex at the same time. But we are going to yawn. We are going to yawn. Yawn coming in hot. Yawn coming in hot, baby. 
You're yawning. Okay, so yawn coming in hot. It's beautiful. I go into you. Uh, we cannot let the Calyrex do anything. We could, I could double protect. I could definitely double protect. But then that that could allow the uh, Calyrex to pop a trick room. If he has it. So I, I kind of just want to go into a snarl at this point. Steel Roller doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to Dark Slayer onto you. And I'm just going to snarl. Snarl Barrel here. Snarl Barrel. Snarl coming in hot. We're going to take out you. Gorgeous. And we're going to roll from there. Yeah, I couldn't allow this Pokemon to like pop a trick. Because if I double protect me, pop a trick and that could be scary. But I wonder what he's going for here. I'm going to take out my Snorlax. He's going to Rock Fall here. Which I think Yvelta should be able to soak up pretty fine here. Right, Yvelta? Cool. So Yvelta soaks up. Groudon's going Night Night. Groudon is going Night Night. Groudon is going Night Night. My plan here is to just like have uh, Venusaur come out here and just start Oblivion winging into this thing to start recovering some HP and have Snorlax take out Venusaur. Sounds like a solid turn for me. As long as, uh, you know, we can just keep this thing asleep. As long as we can keep this Pokemon asleep, that's beautiful. But yeah, Dark Slayer is going to have to poke out here, take out you, and then Oblivion Wing is going to come in hot onto the ground, just chip up some damage and get some more HP back. This is scary. This is definitely scary. Definitely scary. It's scaring me, man. <laughs> it's scaring me. <laughs> but yeah, Groudon's 100% asleep this turn, which is huge. We're going to hope Venusaur is asleep, right? I don't I don't know if Venusaur's guaranteed a sleep turn. It is. Okay, so it's it's, it's out for the count. Oblivion Wing's going to fly. Chip up some damage. More importantly, we get some HP back. Got to deal with these buffets, man. And Groudon's going to be slumped this turn, which is huge. So Groudon's slump. His Dynamax is over. We're going to Darkest Slayer here. We are going to take out the Venusaur. It's huge. Yo, your boy is putting up a fight here. Your boy's putting up a fight. And we're going to hope that Groudon doesn't have a one-turn sleep. Two-turn sleep would be optimal for us. It would be really, really good for us. That would probably benefit us the most, right? I think so. Well, obviously, three-turn sleep. But, but we need at least a two-turn sleep here. We need this thing to uh, be slumped here. So from here, you know, we're just going to uh, well, yawn just in case. Could yawn just in case, but we're going to believe me. Get some more HP back. I'm going to say this thing's slumped, dude. I'm going to say this thing is slumped. I think I'm going to yawn next turn. I really do. Predict the wake up next turn. That could be huge for us. Let's look at that. Get that HP back. HP's doing us good. Please be asleep. No, dude. No. Eat this up, Yvelt. Eat this up, Yvelt. Oh, Yvelt eats. Okay, huge. 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 Oh, I flinched. Get out of my face. Okay, I flinched there. Uh, Huh. Hmm. I flinched there. That is rough. Would foul play do more damage? I feel like it would. Go for foul play. I really flinched there. Foul play coming hot. Take this thing out. Dump on it. Get him out of here. Time to go home. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get him out of here. Beautiful turn for us. Snorlax OP with the yawns. That last battle might have been the most toxic battle I have ever played. I think I yawned 16,253 times. Pretty close to that much. But, yo, we take that all day. We take those wins every single time. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against Heavy Meta Team. We're leading this Latios for some speed control. Look at that team. Zassi and Kyogre looking real scary. So, uh, we're going to lead you. I might just want to Dynamax my boy Reggie here. Reggie could be a nice, lovely little solid lead here. Depending on who he wants to go into. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Could go Yavelta and maybe Dynamax start taking speed control that way. Or I could go you for some Intimidates. But the problem would be if he leads an Intimidate mod. Belt is not too bad, but uh, I kind of want to bring Lando. Good lead, Zacian. Hmm. Could go Reg I think Reggie is a solid lead. Those two, Zacian and Yvelt. Yvelt? Yeah, I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one year. Or a perfect record, I should say. Because, you know, first two battles, your boy's dominating. Your boy's dominating. The second battle was so funny. I just, like, I had Snorlax out there. I was just like, dude, I might as well keep yawning. Like, he put me in a position where I can do that, you know? It wasn't like I was doing that to just be annoying and toxic. It was just like, dude, if I'm going to win this battle, I'm going to have to keep yawning on this Pokemon. That's exactly what I did, and it worked out perfectly. We grabbed ourselves a win here. Foul play did come up clutch, though. I'll give it to him. Foul play coming up clutch. Um, From here, uh, sh 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? i obviously going to have to web, right, and Tailwind. I'm going to have to try to match a Tailwind here. I am definitely going to have to try to match Tailwind. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have to go for Tailwind, Tailwind. And I'm going to try to drop an E-Web here. Take off Focus Ash and Whimsy. Slow down Zassian up a good bit. I go from there. 
It's gonna be tough for us. It's gonna be a tough little battle. Tough little battle. But yeah, if I get off Tailwind and E-Web, I can take a good amount of speed from this guy. Take some speed. I'm just hoping he's not rocking taunt and he's, and he's uh, not gonna taunt my Latios. At that point, we'll still take a little bit of speed with E-Webs coming in hot. But it is tough. It is tough news because uh, Reggie is not rocking the Focus Ash. So he Tailwind's turn one. That's a solid turn. His ass is going to go next, and hopefully play roughs into my Latias here. Just for Sacred Sword. Can we eat that? No, we cannot! Not even close. So we Tailwind, Tailwind. That's a little rough news for us. And then I could I could Ally Switch. I could Dynamax. Uh, Ally Switch Dynamax has sounded really good for me. I ain't going to lie. An Ally Switch into an Airstream? It sounded real lovely. Right, airstream that 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 whims caught, bring him down the focus ash, and then I could just ice him my next turn. Right, right, sounding pretty good here. Sounding pretty good here. Cause then I'm in his head a little. Bit. Then I'm in his head a little bit with the ally switch, but we have to dynamax this Pokemon right here, right now. That's my play. That's my play. That's my play. Wow, dude, he just dumped on my Reggie, man. Dumped on my Reggie, but hey, we'll take tail one for tail one. Wimscott's just like the best tailwind center. And I feel like anything paired up with the Wimscott is just so... Uh, it's kind of tough to count unless you're rocking a big on, which this team does not. It does not. So, we'll see what he wants to do here. He's going to helping hand here. And we're going to ally switch. it be a nice little ally switch for us. But I do still have my focus ash. I do still have my focus ash. So, yep, Behemoth Blade flying into him. He's gonna be able to soak up. Probably bring him down to Focus Ash, right? Actually, maybe not. Yeah, Focus Ash all day. So Focus Ash come down here. Helping hand Behemoth Blade doing some doing some work. And uh Airstream's gonna fly, so we're gonna we're gonna grind a little bit of speed here. So if this thing's Focus Ash, we can just icy wind it out. Which it is. It is Focus Ash. So I could go into another ally switch I'm gonna pose that threat. It's just like, nah, we're not gonna ally switch. Even though that thing's terrifying. Um or I can just go into a, uh, oh, I don't have guard. I do not have guard. What would benefit me more? More speed? Or darkness? I think lowering this thing's special defense would, would benefit me a bit more. You know, I'm just gonna Icy Wind here. Take out Whimsy. And we're gonna roll from there. Are going to roll from there. So, Icy Wind's gonna come out here. He's not helping Handy. Maybe he th thinks I was ally switching. Hopefully he thinks I'm ally switching. That could be huge for us. That could be... Huge for us. Because your belt should be faster with that plus one on the speed board. If he thinks I'm ally switching and he takes out Latias here, we could be sitting in such a good spot. Because then I can just airstream and grant speed control next turn. And go from there. The darkness is gonna fly here. I know it's not gonna do as much as uh as airstream, but airstream wasn't taking him out, so I'd rather lower his special defense and take him out next turn. So we're gonna special defense drop. Go after my Latias here. I think I'm going for an ally switch here. You behemoth blades. Oh no, that's going into my Yvelth this isn't it? Yvelth, I don't think you could soak this. Can you soak it, please, somehow? You can. Oh, my boy. My dog. Loving it. Okay, so we're sitting in this position. Airstream obviously has to go into the Zacian. And it actually depends who he brings out here, because I could ally switch again. I could help a hand here as well. Or I could predict the protect. Predict the protect. I kind of need my, my Adios dead. I'm going to Incineroar, who's kind of a pain. It was kind of a pain. So Intimidate's going to fly. I, I definitely have to ally switch here. I definitely have to ally switch at this point. Just airstream and take you out. Even though it's not very effective, will airstream even take him out? I mean, what would do more damage? Airstream, airstream's our best bet. And I'm an ally switcher. I'm an ally switch, baby. I'm an ally. I probably shouldn't have ally switched. I think he's gonna read ally switch. But we'll see. Because I think he wants to fake out my Latias slot. Just to take him out. Kind of roll from there. I think I is gonna come out beforehand. That's a little that's a little rough. But hopefully, just maybe, just maybe this uh this Shibelta could take out this uh Zacian. It is minus one. It is minus one. Take him out, yo. Get him out of here. Nope, that's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG's. That's gonna be GG's. Cause Behemoth plays chicken fly, it's gonna finish me off here. A little rough news. A little bit of rough news. But uh, I'm trying to think, is there any way we can actually win this battle? Is there any way I can win this battle? Probably not, right? Probably not. I mean Say my Zassian wins the speed speed tie. We can take out uh 
his Zacian. But then he's just gonna fire, but he still has died in that. He's gonna run me. He's gonna run it. But hey, we didn't get swept in this final battle. We were able to take out that Wimscott. So I'm just gonna actually end up running this battle. And we're gonna take a nice, lovely 2 and 1 uh, record for today's video, which is a winning record. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. But yeah, definitely, definitely got ripped up in here in battle number 3. But it's all good. It is all good. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Let's run it. GG's. 2 and 1 winning record for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Dominated with this team. Got my boy Snorlax out there yawning left and right. But more importantly, grabbed yourself a winning record. Don't forget, guys, we got two giveaways rolling for you guys. One for the SCG, giving out two tickets to the World Championship at Rocket League. And I have a $20 eShop gift card giveaway. Link is down in the description below for both of them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know it might be just good live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.